And welcome back to Flexible Games, where we are playing Transport Fever. Working on... Working on our system here. Trying to get some goods... Trying to get the good stuff. I'm going to do four tracks on this side. Just because. So, I want this to point relatively... In a general, in that general direction. Not that this kind of distance matters, but this side is going to be a terminal station, and we're going to bend it, bend it like that. And then the other side, same dealio. Swing this around. Now we want to kind of point it towards this. Unfortunately, there's a whole lot of mountain going on. The Appalachians are kind of a real detriment to this because we got some sort of hilly areas to process. So initially, I don't think I'm going to need a whole lot. I mean, it'll build up fast. The build up for planks and stuff will... We'll We'll come in pretty fast, but I think we're going to be able to get rid of, I want to bring it right in there. That way it's connected. We got two tunnels in here, which is fine because they're, they're split. And we've got plenty of room to double this up. That's the only issue with tunnels I have is the very beginning of a line you want to you want to leave space okay how much oh we got a little bit we got a little bit of ways to go and right up into here there we go so there is the first line for logs and I'll probably have oh this is a ways I'll probably have three trains on this you don't want to go too crazy with the number of trains because then they just don't fill up at the station they they leave without filling up because there's another train coming to replace them. So over here, obviously, we're going to need a depot kind of tacked on to the end of this. And I want to make sure that's an even. I didn't really want that bent like that, but I guess I'll have to take it. Okay, so that is done. Now the really tricky part trying to get all of these into here um let's uh i'm gonna go this side first okay so we are way over here so i want to give myself a little bit of space before i do anything crazy see this really embeds itself into the ground so i think i'm going to do a little hop over the top a hop over the top and we're going to want to that's actually lined up pretty nicely we're just going to want why is this fighting me okay so there we go a little hop over the top of that i think that'll work because doing a, doing a tunnel under that would be pretty extreme. I can tunnel under the rest of this because it's a little higher in elevation. But when, we, when we're coming in to the station, I want to get this sort of lined up. So we're sort of right on track there. But we're colliding with so much stuff that we need to 
bring this down. I think I think that works there. That works there. And we are lined up right. I should have bring a, I should have brought a stub out from that other other station. Um which we are on the left side. So I want to make sure that uh, we take the left side over here just to make sure that that is run right. There we go. And now to double that up because we're most definitely going to need to double this stuff up. You know, we're we're building a city so large that doubling this up is really, and it'll, it'll probably be even larger eventually. Probably have four tracks running in between, just because of just how much material we're going to need to move in order to get all this stuff moving. Okay, we're right on the edge, so let's drag out the secondary line. Oh, and I think we are almost ready to start building lines and buying trains amazingly I think this line is probably gonna have four four trains on it oh that's a little deep all right I still made it because this is quite a bit longer than the other one so glad I can put these in there And right at the edge. There we go. All right. Now for the depot on this side here. I think what we're going to do is run the depot in over here. It won't pick up anything, obviously. Uh, but I think this is a good place for a depot considering that we need to leave this space open down here for it. And the depot over here is done. And the depot for this line isn't done, unfortunately. So I think we might be able to pull one right off here. There we go. And let's see, now we have the Indianapolis delivery route that we're going to need a depot on. And I think that can come right from here. I like to do it behind the, the signal uh, for no reason whatsoever. There we go. I think everybody's depoted. Um, yeah, this one has a depot, this one has a depot. All right, now it's time for the lines. And this is where it gets tricky. So, oh, lagged. Up in Indianapolis, I first want to create a line, and I'm going to make this a really obnoxious color. I want to create a line for for this. Oh, that's that's only one. Is this a double? This is a double. Um, can I double? I want road, platform. I'm going to double that up. For no reason whatsoever. Okay, and I want to deliver to here. So you can see we've got a nice line going in, coming around, and this is going to be Indianapolis South Goods Delivery. Okay, uh, so let's get some trucks on that so the, the line updates with the higher higher demand. Nice bright, one, two, three, four, five, six. 
Okay, this is going to be Indianapolis South Goods Delivery. Good to go. Now, the smart thing would have been to build an overpass right here or put this over, over on the other side. That would have been the smart thing to do. But I've never claimed to be the smartest person in the world. Okay, now we want a train, or a line rather, that sees that delivery. So we want a new line from here to here. And this I'm going to make red. No, I want red. How about yellow? I don't really have very many train lines that are yellow. And this is going to be Indianapolis Goods uh, Bulk. Bulk shipments. Okay. Oh, we got one yellow line right here. That's that's interesting. Okay. New line from plastics, which is up. Where's my plastics? There it is. From here. And here. This is going to be um, mobile plastic for goods. And this is going to be orange. No orange. Plastic is nice and shiny. And now another new line from here to here. This is WDC uh, logs for uh, goods. Logs for goods. It's a new charity. It's going to be dark, dark brown. And then last one, this to here, to here, and this is going to be brown, but not as brown. And this is going to be uh, mobile uh, planks for goods. Okay. And let's go to mobile here. That's way down the list. Uh, that's a good color, I think. Okay. Now let's start setting up these trains. Um, first, I want the train that tells this thing, hey, I need, I need material. So that's always the first train that I make. And this one, I'm not sure what the line color was on this. This is Indianapolis Goods. Oh, it's up. Goods Bulk. Uh, it's probably up here. Yeah, yellow. So, yellow. I'm going to use my regular NSB rather than the super fast one because I want multiple trains on this. I'm going to want, I'm going to put four trains on this behemoth here. So I'm going to buy and I need a box car set to goods. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, seven, twelve. I'm going to do twelve. And we're going to do one, two, three. Very expensive purchases. And this is going to be goods bulk. Okay. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to set up to run here and let these trains start the process of delivery. Okay. So the next thing I want to set up is plastic. And I know this one's going to be orange. Uh, which is right there. So, one. And these are going to be plastic. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I think that's good. And then this one's going to be one, two, three. And we're going to have four trains on this one. And 
let's see if I can find where this is. Marble plastic for goods. Wait, which? I'm on this one, right? Okay, good. I thought, oh, I had a scare that I was on this one. Okay, mobile plastic for goods. Get a little bit of plastic movement here. That would be nice. Now for the the logs. And this is the dark brown uh, one. State car set to logs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Yeah, why not? And I want three of these. And this is WDC logs for goods. And then the planks, I think the yeah, I think the thing is way over here. And this is the slightly lighter brown. I try not to use the cheaty engine too much, if at all. Okay, this is going to be planks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And I want... It's kind of a long line. Um, 2, 3, 4... Let's try 5. And this is going to be mobile... I write planks for goods. That is a lot of trains. Ooh, yeah, look at that. You'd, you'd see that train coming from from afar. Okay, has this updated yet? It C is seventeen hundred demand. So that's that's a start. Um, it's definitely a start. These are just going to sit empty. Yeah, I'm going to need to... I'm going to need to do something with this. It's not enough space to do a bridge or a tunnel, which is unfortunate. I'm not sure how I'm going to solve that problem. Because there's a huge delay. Look at that, we have... You can actually change the type of crossing. Interesting. Yeah, you just... You just go for it, dude. Magic. It was magically... There we go. And we're stopped again. Who's coming in? Oh, we got another... Goods line. Yeah, that is not a good situation. I wonder if I can rectify that a little bit. I bet you I can't. Too much slope. Yeah, it's... How about down? Too much slope. Okay, well that, that would work. Kind of put me out of the way though. And put me right into this traffic snarl that's coming in. I could reroute the traffic that's coming up here and move it over to here, though. Uh, but I can't really too much slope, too much cowbell. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna build that first of all and then I'm gonna move this this line because I don't want all that tra ooh I don't want all that traffic coming in right here I want it all there we go now does that complain to me nope good 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 Okay, next is to delete this little stub of a road. Oh, that's going to be nice. Okay, everybody needs to go. A 
There we go. Nice and clean. Rerouted. Everybody can move freely. Yes, it puts the buses a little bit further, but, you know, it is what it is. Just got to deal with it. Sorry, everybody. Oh, we have a we have a road stub come through here. Oh, it cleared out a bunch of buildings. That sucks. But while it's while it's there, let's upgrade it. Just because. It's one of the few that I can upgrade without ruining ruining the city. Okay, let's look at our demand. Where did uh, I got lost there for a second? See if our demand has changed. 1710 no. So are we delivering plastic? We are delivering plastic. Are we delivering planks? We're not delivering planks yet. So are we a little bit more plastic in, in order there? It's good, good, good. Uh, how's our wood and planks and stuff doing? Oh, we got a little bit of logs. Are we... Oh, yeah, we got some planks. So if we look at the demand, you can see how many are how many are wanted. And that'll slowly rise. You can see the planks is only demanding 52 for whatever reason. Even though it's 1,700 demand, it only wants 52. So where's our first plank delivery? right here this will produce our first goods and we will be on our way to supplying the goods to Indianapolis which should help a little bit in the growth of the commercial district anyway come on deliver deliver that hundred thousand dollars worth of Wood. Nine hundred thousand dollars worth of wood. That's not bad. Okay, we've got our first. We have our first goods. We are we are ready for prime time. All right. Well, that will do it for this episode. And I thank you for watching. And I'll see you next time.